Would you like to be able to take a photograph with your iPhone just on the command of one word? This can be really useful if you can't get your fingers to the shutter button to actually take the shot or you're in a difficult position and you're unable to do that holding the camera maybe away from you. It's very easy. I've programmed my word to be shoot. And you saw the camera take the shot there. Let me show you how to get this programmed so that you can use your iOS device to do this. So the first thing you're going to do is get a piece of paper and stick it over the top of your iPhone's screen whilst the iPhone camera is actually in place. Because what we need to do is map exactly where the shutter button is. So here, if I just go back again, let's go back. You have to be a little bit careful, but here I'm needing to mark out that area. So I know that when I've lined this up with the bottom of my screen, and you can do any way you like, just to make sure that you're getting the right area, because this is quite important for a, a later part of the process. So once you've done that, put that to one side and we'll then move on to how to do this. So then scroll down to the option for accessibility. Touch accessibility and scroll further down to voice control. Now mine is currently on, yours is very likely to be off. So we'll leave it off for the time being. Then what we can do is go to the option that says customize commands. So we touch custom and you can see that I've got my previous shoot command already in there, but let's create a new one that will take a, a shot for me as well. So what we do is we touch create new command. Here we're first invited to type in a name or we can say a word. I think saying the word is a good idea because it means that the system already understands the word you want to use vocally and has less trouble trying to translate then into the, uh, the typed phrase. So you do that by touching the microphone icon at the very bottom of the screen and say the word. Fire. You then touch the action button at the bottom, which says action not set. And here we will say we're going to run a custom gesture. And this is where we will program the touch of the screen, which is where our shutter button lived. And this is where this piece of paper comes back into being in use. So here, for me, what we can do is we can touch this hide controls button and that gives us our whole screen to look at. And so I think my touch was about there. Okay, you see that on the screen? It registers that area and then we click save at the top. We can then go back and we can specify the application that this command will run in. So I'd rather not use any application. I prefer to actually specify that it's going to run in your camera application of choice. Of course, you might have a third party camera application that you want to do this with. So just make sure that you monitor where the shutter button is in that application. So I've specified that it's going to run in the camera application. I'm going to run that custom gesture and we're going to use fire as the command. We now click save at the top right. We then go back and back once more. And we'll find that voice control is turned off because I turned it off earlier. If we want to use this feature, we now need to turn voice control on. We go back and back again. And then let's just simply launch the camera application. And now that voice control is on, if I lift the camera, just take a photograph of my keyboard and say 
fire. It has now taken a photograph, I think you saw it, because I bring it up on the screen, upon that picture. And of course what it will do is it will use your camera and whatever settings are already in place on your camera. So if you want live view mode or whatever, or video, um, typically this is used just for still pictures, but you might want to turn off live view. So once you've got that programmed, so long as voice control is on and you say that word within the camera application, then it will take the shot for you. Now, another tip is that we probably don't want voice control to be on all of the time. So you can go back into your settings menu and go to accessibility and voice control and turn it off there. Or the easier way is to hold into the button to get Siri up and simply tell Siri, turn off voice control. And of course, turn on voice control. Then you can enter your camera application and use your command. I hope this has been useful for you. My name's Phil Binks and I hope I can help you in the near future. If you like this, click on the like button and subscribe to the channel if, if you'd like to and we'll see you for another demonstration in the near future. Thanks.